Welcome to Serenity and Jarenity, a series crossover event where we do tea things, which is always usually David's tea. And usually unboxings because we buy it obsessively. Inside mine, Sarah has two little surprises. Two? You Surprise! didn't tell me two. <laughs> <laughs> Since now I know there's a surprise in there, we should probably open it right away. Yeah, because there's lots to unbox. Yeah, lots to unbox today. Do you want to do yours first? Sure. These scissors are terrible. I know, they're very dull. Oh my goodness. I don't think those are the ones I used on my chicken's feet. <laughs> Why were you cutting your chicken's feet? <laughs> I was doing first aid. You have to cut stuff. I know, gruesome. That's weird. I am a nurse by trade and I'm disturbed by that. <laughs> My turn. Let's get this baby open. Let's see if we've got any fancy paper. I would guess no. I have my feet down on this one. Wow, yours is just really thrown in there. And look how like... Oh my gosh, yours is so perfectly packaged. And mine is like done in... Let's show them. Oh, mine's all sliding. Whoever packaged this is like someone that would be my friend because I'm a little OCD I'm realizing. And this is how I package something. This is how not... I would, no. Yeah, they... It's heavy, sorry. They just like dumped it in here. <laughs> no, mine is so pretty. Wow, mine. Okay. Oh, snob. I can take. The, I can take this small box. All right, Jenna. Do you want to give me my presents first? Mm. Can you see them? Uh, yes. There's one in here that I'm not sure if you would like, but my husband said get it anyways because she has lots of mugs, so she doesn't like it. She can hide it at the back. Mug. <laughs> She's so smart. <laughs> okay. Don't look at is the front. Is this the gray one? Don't look at the front. I don't know. I can't I don't know. Is don't this the perfect the mug? I don't know. The perfect gray one? Oh, maybe not. I don't think it is. I don't know what the perfect gray one is. Same. Oh, now she's going to be disappointed. <gasps> oh. Oh. Seriously? I don't know. This is stressing <gasps> me out. This is it! Oh, this is the gray mug. Oh, I, just, I love this I just mug. really liked it, so I thought maybe you would like it. Because I was like, oh, it's so Christmassy, but in a pretty way. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, good choice, Jenna. I thought so, because if you didn't like it, I was just like, I'll keep it, because I really like it. It's really nice. I've been really into their Perfect mugs lately, because they're smaller. They're like 12 ounces instead of 16. Oh, is this a Perfect one? What's the other one then? A Nordic? Nordic. Yeah, this is really pretty. I really like it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's a win. Oh, you got and me. Oh yeah, that's right. You said you got me two things. Yeah. Okay, let's see what this is. I have no idea. I'm not looking at the sticker. Yeah, so it does not come in a fancy box. I guess only some do, some don't. Oh, it feels like a latte mug. It is a latte mug, yeah. Oh! oh it is pretty in person. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, the gold's really pretty. Yeah. Oh, I even like that. It looks like it's been used. Stop, what? Look it. Oh, weird. That's strange. Yeah, it does look like it's been used. Yeah, there's like coffee or like tea drops in it. Yeah, the gold's all intact. That's strange. Maybe someone was having a cup of tea next to it. Maybe. I like it. I actually like it too. I didn't know it was going to be this big. I thought it was going to be smaller. I'm pretty it's sure really it's hefty. 20 ounces. I like the shape of it. That'll be really good for like pumpkin chai lattes. I actually really like it. I yeah, like me too. Most. I'm going to take them back. <laughs> she regrets giving them to me now. I do. That was not a present for you. That was meant for me. All right. Well, now that I've got my magical gifts out of the way. That was fun. I'm jealous. We can do tea. This first one we're going to pull out here is one of my very, very favorite teas. It used to be called white chocolate chai, but they reblended and added in pink peppercorns and changed the name to Jingle Bell Chai. I like the packaging. These are pretty. Yeah. I bought six of them because I love this tea and it was 50% off plus 20% off I think so it was a really really good price. I didn't pay over $3.50 for a bag I'm pretty sure because there was some $4, $5 ones and I said I am going $3.50 or less so we'll know that these were cheap then. I didn't do that. I encouraged her once again. <laughs> Jingle Bell Chai. This one is absolutely delightful I've in never every way. I've smelled this one, so... You gonna open it? I'm going to open it. Oh, I'm cutting it. How is... Oh, you don't have to cut it. I just <clears> do <throat> that because I don't like the... Now, what I find interesting is I'm actually noticing I'm a little OCD. Like, I think I like things really neat and really, like, in a particular way. Yep. But with my tea bags, I was thinking about this last night, is that I ripped them... And it doesn't bother me for some reason. Bothers me. Sarah cuts them, but you're not really like OCD like I am. So oh, that's I am why. in my own way. Oh, okay. So in her tea way. Ooh, ooh, that smells like a snickerdoodle kind of. 
show you up close here because I actually managed to set up my camera so that it will autofocus up close, believe it or not. So look in the bag there. You can see sprinkles and you see the red peppercorn down there at the bottom. Oops, oh, lost your red peppercorn. Crap. Mm. That's it. White chocolate curls in there. Mm. So many good things. It really smells like a snickerdoodle. My husband will really like that. It's delicious. It's even good, just totally plain. It's so yummy. It smells good. Okay, so the mm. next one. Next one is an herbal infusion. Peach zing. Yum, I got one too. I just got one. I got three because I've been having play a peach lately. I gotta say it different. Play a peach. Play a peach. Play a peach. peach. Lately with apple juice, like as a cold brew, and oh, it's my favorite. The main ingredients on this one is candy, ginger, ginger, natural peach flavoring, hibiscus. It's gonna Very have simple. a lot of tartness to it and mm. some zing, hence the name. <laughs> Can I open this one? Yeah, go for it. Oh, it smells good. My mouth is watering. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a good choice, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be really nice iced. I will try in the next few days. And if we want, my dad just found boubles, peach boubles. Ooh. Yeah, so we can make a tea pop with a peach bouble. Tea pop. I call them boubles because of Michael Bouble. I, I know that's not actually the name of them. But he thinks it is. So yes, he does. We will support you, Michael Bouble. Next one is mom's apple pie. Fun fact, our mom made the best apple pie. And she would make it from our own homegrown apples here mm -hmm. on the farm. When I was first married, she taught me how to make her stew and her apple pie. That was like our staple in the first like five years of our marriage. So I know how to make her apple pie perfectly, which I cherish. And I said, I will make us pie soon. You want to smell this one? Yeah. Does it smell like oh, an apple pie? It smells... Mm -mm. I... It smells like the filling of an apple pie. Yeah, okay. I was missing the crust. Yeah, there's no crust. This is like if you had the pie goo Which is in a bowl. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Very green apple. Very green apple. Yeah, and it's green tea, so you need to be careful about your steep time on this. I'm so bad with steep times. Yeah. Next one up is still in the apple family. We were pretty creative there. <laughs> Would you like to do the honors? A candy apple. You've had this one before. I have. I, I love this been. one. I have not had this one. I have it in both loose leaf and in sachet form. Laser's girlfriend, Laura, she actually gave me her sachets of these and I drink them fairly often. It's not like real apple. It's more like artificial candies, like candy apple and cinnamon. Well, I'm going to smell it because, I don't know, we seem to drink all of our tea pretty quick, so... Oh, can I be honest with what it smells like? Yeah. Me? It smells like nail polish remover. Oh, it does. Weird. That's strange. But not in like chemical way. It's like in a natural way. It's really bizarre. Well, take nail polish remover out of your head and think about a Jolly Rancher green apple candy. Oh yeah. Okay. It has that really intense. I think that's why the nail polish goes mine because it like almost coats your yeah. throat. <laughs> Just <laughs> to me. Well, I might be happy I only got one bag, but Sarah says it's good, so... I like it, but it does taste like an artificial... <laughs> I know, it's doing that to me, too. What's wrong with us? Oh, man. Something in there was really strong. Candy apple, a little bit unusual. I like it, so hopefully your bag just doesn't have something wrong with it. I'll have to taste it later, maybe, and let you know. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to drink no nail polish remover. Yeah. <laughs> Not advised. Next one up is... Confetti Cupcake. This had one of the best reviews. Yeah, a lot of people said it tasted like icing water. Mmm, delicious. But I was really interested to try it, especially as a latte. And it was super cheap. I wanted to buy more, but I was worried about the watered down icing. But my <laughs> husband loves cotton candy. It's a Roybus as well, so I'll open it. Let's see. I haven't smelled mm, this one. I think it smells nice. It smells like oh, icing. It's, it's got so it's many things in it. Doesn't smell like much, does it? No, it smells like a watered down cupcake. Yeah. Apparently we were really into apple pies that day. I didn't know we bought so many apple things. Yeah. And we got baked apple chai. Mmm, that just sounds good. This one's really, really nice. You've had it. I did. I bought it at store. I bought a small sampler back when it was full price. It is delicious. I have not had it, so I'm going to smell it as well. Oh, it's got big chunks. Yeah. Oh, that smells like a tea I'm going to really, really, really like. I really like apple teas. Gosh. 
Very cinnamony. Yeah. It comes across the right amount of cinnamon mm -hmm. though. It's not overpowering when you drink it. A little spicy. I don't know if you can latte this one though, even though they call it a chai. I'm sure it'd be good as a latte, but I feel like it'd be really good plain. Yes, that's the only way I've had it is plain, and it was delicious. So yeah, I got two bags. I got two bags too. Yeah. Two, 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 two. Next one I didn't get, but she did. Snow day. Next one I didn't get, but you got. Let it snow. Both snowy teas. Very, very different teas. That one is like peppermint and a little hint of chocolate. This one is like eggnog. Ooh, I like mint teas a lot. I don't think you can ever go mm. wrong with a mint tea. I'm pretty sure my bag is like from 2016, so maybe that's why I said it's not that great because it's really stale. <laughs> this smells really, really, really good. Yeah, that one's a nice one. I might want to have this one today. You should. I would probably have a cup of it with you. Mm, no. She won't share. I won't share. I'm just joking. I'm pretty good at sharing. Let It Snow is, like I said, it's a green tea and it kind of has an eggnog vibe. There's a lot of creamy flavor elements to it while still being a nice light green tea. I love this one. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I didn't buy more bags, but I don't reach for it often even though I really like it. It's kind of strange. And it was $4.50. It's a good sale, but it's yeah. not a sale we want to really load up on it. Right. That's, that's a good point. That is important. Next one up is another Christmas blend, and mm. it's David's Tea's North Star. I guess this was the Christmas sale to get rid of the Christmas stuff, which yeah. I'm happy with. Christmas teas are so cozy, yeah. and it's been raining here a lot, so maybe that'll help. And I find that David's Tea's Christmas teas are usually my favorite releases. I look forward to them every year. I think, even though I love my iced teas so much, I feel like I could agree with that because of the coziness. I've never smelled oh, this one before. Oh, it's so interesting, so citrusy. So it has mm. orange peel, brittle, lemongrass, orange, moringa leaf, orange blossom, spinach? It has spinach in it. Awesome, I'll take the spinach. I wonder what nana mint is. I don't know, but that smells so good. I feel like this would be good cold. It would probably be good cold and hot. Yeah. It's hard when you smell them, you're like, oh, I should have bought another bag of that. And that was like play a peach. I only had one bag and I am enjoying every sip of it. Mm -hmm. These. Well, I just dropped a bunch of stuff. Oh well. This next one here is super, super delicious. I wanted Jenna to get some, but they weren't cheap enough. Oh, they sound good now. I'm like, why didn't I get that? I know. Frugal. This one is toasted marshmallow. It's kind of a caffeine-free version of s'mores chai. Kind of in the same family. It's so good. Makes a delicious latte. Oh, I can smell it a little bit. Really? Do you want me to open one? You don't have to. I can smell it. I still have an open mm. bag at home. That smells really good. Yeah, this one's delicious. So I got two bags of toasted marshmallow. Can't go wrong with that. Next one is one that was introduced to me by Corey, our sister-in-law. She sent me a big surprise birthday haul. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Yeah, I have a video for it. It's a good haul. <laughs> I had never bought a milk oolong before and something about it was intimidating to me so I just didn't and she bought me Silver Bell Oolong. Oh, okay, I remember. Yeah, and I gave it a try almost immediately and loved it. It is so, so good. This is apparently a rebranding of Monk's Blend. I probably would have never bought it if it was called Monk's Blend. That's a weird name. There's a history to it apparently where monks used to blend a whole bunch of different teas together because this actually is white tea, milk oolong, and jasmine green tea. That's a cool story behind it, but maybe not the best name. But the average Joe would not know that. I got five bags of silver about oolong. Well, thank you, Corey, for introducing her to that. Yeah, I really, really love it. It's probably one of my new favorite teas. What? It's delicious. Top 10? I guess we'll see at the end of 2022 when I do my top 10 video. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> to be continued. TBC. See how much I drink it over the year. Hmm. Next one here, I don't really know why I bought it. I didn't like it that much the first time I drank it. I got a small sampler from store. I think like 20 grams. It was enough to make like a couple teas. But then I realized, I think I need to try this one as a latte and maybe then I'll like it. Mocha chai. She doesn't like mocha. I don't like mocha flavor. Not even the slightest. I'll taste it. So strong. I don't know why. I didn't like it, but I half wonder if I oversteeped it and then I also didn't latte it. So I think those might be two really important elements for this tea. So I thought, I'll grab one more bag. It was really cheap. I think it was like $2 and something. Maybe guests would like it. Maybe. I mean, I have so much tea. There's so many options that a guest would just be overwhelmed and probably run out the door. They do get scared when they see my tea yeah. drawers. <laughs> drawers. Drawers. Yeah. Multiple. I've seen it. <laughs> I got sachet form of sweet potato pie. When I originally bought this one a year ago, a little mm -hmm. longer, 
I went, oh, I don't like sweet potato pie, but it's probably one of my favorite ones to drink warm. They do a sachet as per eight ounce glasses. So make sure you put two in if you use a full Nordic. Okay, that's good to know. But I find these good because when I have company, sometimes people are scared to try loose leaf tea. Yeah. I don't know why, but mm -hmm. even though this is loose leaf in a sachet, they will feel much more comfortable drinking something like that or preferred, so. Yeah, I know. Weird. Psychology. Mm -hmm. My next one was also bought for me by Corey. So I got some more. It's Prancer's Punch. A whole bunch of people thought this was a reblend at first of caramel corn. Mm. It is not. It's not even close. I don't oh. even know why they thought that. Oh. But I'm going to open one mm. because I haven't actually opened or tried the one Corey bought for me yet. She bought oh, me a lot of tea. Just bought more. I had a feeling I was going to like it, so I thought, mm, let's grab some while it's really cheap. Let's see. I'm excited. Mm. Maybe they thought it was caramel corn because there's actually popcorn in here. Oh. Oh, that's nice, hey? Mmm, I see a big thing of cinnamon in there. Yeah. Like cinnamon stick. Yeah. That's really nice. This is a fun tea. Yeah, it's got popcorn. Let's see if you can see in there. Popcorn and cinnamon sticks. It's just an all around cool tea. Delicious to be determined. Yeah, we'll find out. I have a feeling I'm gonna like it though, just based on the ingredients. I'm starting to understand what ingredients taste like on a bigger scale now that I've been drinking tea for so long. Can you get this one? No, I didn't. I have some of that at home. Once again, more apples. Mm -hmm. I got apple cider. I've had this one. I don't know if they've changed it, but I had it many years ago, probably like four years ago. And I remember really liking it a lot, so. It's nice. I don't think I'll open it for now. That's something I want to save for Christmas time. Good idea. My next one here, I don't think you got this one. I think it was a little bit more expensive. Blackberry ginger. When we were trying to build our cart, I was at my house and I have an open bag of this at home. So I ran and smelled it for her to tell her if it was good or not. And I said it was amazing, but I think it was $4 and something cents. Couldn't do it. It's very, very blackberry and gingery. Why didn't I do it? Oh. It was just a hair too much money. Oh, I should have done it. It's just 50 cents. Why don't matter? <laughs> this next matcha, I bought one bag. Jenna bought four. Eggnog matcha. Yum. I haven't tried this one yet. Well, I don't like eggnog. I've never drank eggnog, so I cannot either oh, confirm nor deny if I like it or not. You know, I don't think I've ever tasted it either. I just smelt it and I was like, mmm. And the name itself is disgusting. Yeah, eggnog. <laughs> yeah. I think this is in our new calendar too. Oh, it probably is. Yeah. Okay, my next one here, I've never tried before, so I'm gonna open it. David's Tea's Elf Help, one of their Christmas releases this year. It's got black currants in it, orange peel, papaya, coconut. I have no idea what this one's gonna smell like, so let's try just to see. Hmm, I don't know what I'm smelling. Orange peels, mainly? Ooh. I wasn't expecting that to be so good. I don't know what that is, but it's very sugary smelling. Is it the cranberries? Could be. Candied cranberries, maybe? Mm, That's delicious. I want to drink that, like... <sighs> I want that as a cold brew. Yeah, and I normally don't like cold brews, but that smells like it would make an amazing cold brew. Mm. What's your next one? We don't have any more the same, so we're just gonna take turns now. More matcha, so the rest is matcha for me. The gingerbread matcha. Once again, I don't like gingerbread, but my husband so this is all for him. I'm a nice wife. You bought him a lot of matcha. I bought him a matcha lucky man. with his own money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nice. Next one here. This is an oolong. And for some reason, I don't know what Davis T is thinking, but they label their oolongs with a light green word so you can't read them. But yeah. I promise you this says banana bread chai. David's Tea, please change your labeling so we can actually read our packages, please. This is very annoying. You could do like white, color. just white. That white would be pretty, or you could do dark blue over top of or it. Or black, just mm -hmm. a color that I can read, please. Now that I have so much oolong, I go through my oolong drawer and I'm like having to pick them up and look at them really close so I can't see what yeah. they are. I can't read it right now. I know. Banana bread chai, I promise you it says that. I don't think I've smelled this one before. You want to smell it? Sure. I don't think I like banana tea, but... I love banana tea so much. I love banana everything. It's like my favorite flavor. I like those banana candies, so... Yeah. Mmm. Smells like banana bread. So they did name it appropriately. Yeah, it does. That's with really nice. a lot of cinnamon in it or something. I think I'd like to make this as a latte with some banana milk. Banana milk. Yum. Do, Yum. Do, do, do. Banana milk. Banana milk. Do, do, do. <laughs> my next one was with my points. So I had two points to use up. So it was matcha matsu. Plain, but I like to mix it with the other matcha because it can be a little sugary. Yeah. And also the energy from that is like next level amazing. It's 
My next one, and I almost didn't buy this, but I'm like, if I don't buy it on sale, I will never ever try it. Coco Chai Rooibos. So I've never smelled this one before. Sounds like it could be good, I don't know. That's what I thought too, but I was like, ah, I'm not usually a huge Rooibos fan, but it's a really good price, so time to try it if I'm ever going to. The time is now, people. Time is now. And that smells delightful. It's like coconut and like spicy. spicy. Yeah. Really spicy. Is there peppercorns in there? Let me see. Oh, the, oh yeah, pink peppercorn. Lots of good spicy smells in there. Mm. The woman likes her peppercorns. I really like pink peppercorns in tea a lot. Okay, my next one. This must all be for my husband. I don't remember being so kind. Pumpkin pie matcha. That one's delicious. I don't like pumpkin pie. <laughs> I don't like a lot of things apparently. <laughs> not that picky. It used to be, but not anymore. So that's for him. He likes that one. We've tried it. Is it in the calendar? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was in the calendar for sure. Okay, I have two more flavors left here. Okay, I have two more flavors as well. All right, next one is Cranberry Cheer. Mm, that sounds good. It's one I've also never tried. Again, bought it because it was on sale and would probably never buy it full price because it was kind of one that didn't fully speak to me. And again, Davis Tea, please change your labeling. This like teal against orange, really hard on the eyes. Oh yeah, not yeah. as bad as the other one. Not as bad as the other, like it's readable, but it's not pleasant. It hurts my brain. But I've never smelled this one before. Let's see, I do like cranberries and tea. Hmm, I don't know. Mm. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Mm. It smells like it would be good iced. <laughs> it does. Like if you turned it into like a mm. tea lemonade or a tea pop. Mm. I think that'll be good iced. We do a tea cocktail with it. That's true. Or it apple. has oat straw. What is oat straw? I don't know. I love weird ingredients in tea. When I see something strange, I get really excited. Oat straw. So I'm slightly happier that I own this now because of the oat straw. All right, Jenna, your second to last one. So this is my points as well. So it was not on sale, but I wanted to stick with matcha because I have enough tea. Raspberry matcha. Mm. I don't know why I'm British. I'm sorry if you're British and watching this. I don't know if that's <laughs> British, Jenna. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> really like this one. Tried it in the calendar as well. So the calendar gave me the opportunity to try all the flavors and this so good. And one thing about that too, and I learned this from Lapsang with Lene, another tea tuber and tea Instagrammer, blend it with the salted caramel matcha. And it is just like next level good. It tastes like those candies from my childhood, like the caramels that were stuffed with a different flavor. Mm, so yummy. Then that will bring me to my next tea, even though it's your turn. Oh, salted caramel matcha. <laughs> And I bought four bags of that because so it is good. probably, it is my favorite matcha. That and candy cane, but I think this tops candy cane. It's better. Mm -hmm. uh, candy cane I find you have to use a lot more because I don't get that really pepperminty flavor that I want. Yeah. Uh, but this, you don't need to use a lot. So I'm gonna try it. My last and final tea is white pumpkin. Ooh. <laughs> It's a white tea, so you have to use fairly cool water temperature, like 185 degrees Fahrenheit. No rolling boils on this baby. You're just gonna taste bitter and disgusting. But this one's really good. I like it a lot. It's got white chocolate in it, and I just love white chocolate and tea. So this one's delicious. I have an open bag, so I won't open it now. I don't wanna make it go stale before I'm ready to drink it. But that's it for my haul. Started to throw them all back in, so you can see you got lots of bags. I'm pretty sure I counted, and I've got 33 bags of tea. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. lots of tea. Not as big as Megalodon box. Megalodon. Nothing's as big as the Megalodon box. So back in the box, very full, very, very heavy box. I got some really fancy presents. <laughs> I was really excited about this one. Yeah. And Jenna's got tea on the floor. Well, that is it for our big tea unboxing. It was their spring sale with a surprise 20% off extra. So thank you, David's Tea, for putting together such an awesome sale so we could panic buy a whole bunch of tea that we probably didn't need right now. <laughs> thank you so much for watching the series crossover event of Serenity and Serenity. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> So cheesy, I love our cheese. <laughs>